Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today I'm going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' systems. So, we've got one system from the user Fallon in Discord today, so massive thank you to them for sending their system. And um, without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So their system is called The Worlds Under Two Suns. So quite an interesting name here. Let's uh, get that opened up and let's see what we have got here. Right, it's an interesting name, so let's see, uh, see what's going on here. Right. Oh my god, whoa -ho. It's looking pretty wild, isn't it? Oh yeah. Right. So. Moons and dwarf planets aren't noted. Couldn't be half fast. <laughs> right, so the star itself. So, uh, Sordif Sordifus. The yellow dwarf, it has three dust belts. How has he done that with the star luminosity? Look how the glow on that looks. That's really weird. How do you do that then? Seem playing with the the the, the, uh, the view options maybe. Is that under the two hundred fifty percent? Interesting. Very interesting. Two hundred fifty. Hmm. Pretty cool. All right. Okay. All right. Anyways, onto the planet. So first we've got a tenny over here. A planet of flood. Oh, I like. Oh, I like the way that. Look at that. That's fantastic. The way that appears. Is that tidy locked or is that a? Wow. Oh, I love that. That's been tinted or something. That has definitely been tinted. That's been modded. Oh, that looks great. I love that. Right. So get back on topic. A planet with flowing lakes of hot magma deems too hot to colonize. That's a great looking world. Fantastic start. Okay. Awesome. Love that. Next up, we got Hyia, a Mercurian world. So here's your Mercury equivalent. Its crater is painted by uh, a chalky substance. So it literally is your Mercury equivalent. Okay, nice. Next up, moving on. The Mars equivalent next up. So we've got an interesting order here. Okay, oh, I like the way you look as well. Um, this planet has a freakyish large moon. And there he is. The Sora here. Looking good. Okay. And also you've got some uh, minor object, I'm guessing the, the MOs. So got plenty of those in there. Next up we got this one, Ali Almef Almefia. Almefia. A scorched desert blanketed by a thick atmosphere of carbon and sulfur dioxide. So here's your Venusy kind of world. Minus 114 though, so it's not as hot. So it's like a cold Venus. There he is. Clouds and atmosphere on. Very reflective by the looks of things. Looks like that minor object is almost on a collision path there as well, but there we go. Okay. Next up, we got Gaia. The home planet of an unnamed alien species it has two major moons. Good looking Earth world. Let's look at the stats out of curiosity. 19, 22. There you go. Very nice. Then we've got Mond here. There you go. And we got uh, Lena. Over here. Nice. So there are those guys. Alright, now moving on to Kaiser. Kaiser. So that's this guy. Frozen Desert. Used by the unknown for mining. It has four major moons. So looking pretty good. Moons. Here's the lineup. There you go. So they're all fairly small as well by the looks of things. Yeah, they're all miners, aren't they? Yeah, the minor objects. There you go. Okay. Quite like the tilt as well, the moons. That's pretty cool. Right, moving on. Next up, we're heading to Joel Vitton. So we've got like an asteroid belt here of like more minor worlds by the looks of it. So you've got your, like your series equivalents, things like that. Series investor, so small minor asteroids. There's a barrier center here, so it looks like some sort of binary going on. What's this? Oh. Where did that lead? I didn't really need to do anything. Anyway, let's go to the next planet. So, Joe Vitton. So, over here. There he is. The dominant gas giant used for an interplanetary rest stop. It has five major moons. A lot of rings as well. There you go. So, we've got Iophis. That's the first of the moons. And we've got Rotfront. Then we've got Kali. Gale, or Gali. And lots of minor objects. Loads and loads of them. Okay, awesome. 
Um, next up, we are heading to Moth over here. Name for the colour of its atmosphere. Ooh, I like that. Um, this planet has a rich amount of metals in its atmosphere and six major moons. And the ring system to boot. So we got Kaolus here. Luna. Baitigin. Baitigin. Cynical. Uh, Mishani. Over there. Alrighty. Very nice. There you go. Alright. So now we're moving on further. So we got... Oh, no, we've got this one as well. Hang on. Yeah, we've got this one. Ipis over here. Tilted on its side. An odd planet. Seemingly sharing the colours of both an ice and a gas giant. Oh, that was like that recent system. Like the 50-50 half gas, half ice giant. I like it. I like that theme. So we had two people do it now. Literally, the last episode had one like this as well. Oh, interesting. So we've got Ipis Minor here. Ipis Major. More minor objects. We've got Ipis Omega. Nice, and then more minor moons over here. Okay, nice. Now we've got another asteroid belt. Then we're moving on to uh, Lifthazia, which is this. But we've got more, uh, more. I'm guessing these are all dwarf planets over here. Yeah, they are. Oh, that was a that one's of a decent size. An Earth like frozen Earth like world. Faral, Upside, and Vamp. There you go. So they're in their like outer area. But now we're moving on to a secondary star. And the edge reaches of this system. There's an interesting sort of lineup here. So a red dwarf star, two dust belts. So there you go, it's the first set. Then we've got Wyvern, first world up. A scorching hot planet tidally locked to its star. Looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, that looks pretty monstrous, doesn't it? Looking underneath. There you go. It's got an orbital station in orbit as well. A giant cube. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, next up we got a Badon, or B Bodor, sorry. Bodor. Ooh, I like that gas giant there. That's an enormous moon it's got around it as well. Meaning idiot in Malay. Thanks, Phoenix. This planet is the host of the only habitable object side of this system. So I'm guessing this is the habitable world, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Orbital station in orbit of that as well. What's the stats on this guy, I wonder? 76 and 15. Very nice. If you look underneath, there it is. Probably survived in some pretty wild conditions being in orbit of a gas giant that close to it. Lots of orbital cannon things in orbit as well. Okay. Another asteroid belt. And then lastly, onto Sinor over here. A relatively boring gas giant, however, two moons are not. So there's the gas giant itself. And then the moons. We've got Kalos. Ooh, I like you. You've had some modding done. That, that looks pretty modded. It must be. It's got like little glowy effects on it. Yeah, that looks pretty... Well, so we don't make a copy of that, actually. That's a nice... Could have, could have that to collection. That's a nice uh, nice looking one. Really nice. Then we've got Joe O2 there. Oh, another one with that sort of effect on it as well. I like it. Cool. But there we go. So that is the Worlds Under Two Sun system. I liked it. A lot of very, very funky objects in there. Very, very nice lineup. There you go. Let's remove the particles. But that's a cool lineup. Got some very more realistic -y looking gas giants. Got the half gas, half ice in there as well. That's cool. I like the rocky lineup as well. I thought it's a very, very cool lineup. Very different, unique lineup. Really, really nicely done. Very, very nicely made system. Especially that rock, that Mercury world at the beginning with the very reflective areas. I think it was that one. It looks a little different now, but that was a cool looking world. But there you are. Great system. Enjoyed that. So that was made by the user Fallon and Discord. So massive thank you to them again for that. I really, really enjoyed that. But that was said and done, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well, guys. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And that was said and done, everybody. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.